Well, good afternoon, EIS. Good afternoon, fellow students, staff. And I am going to say the world, Mr. Daglish, because we have gotten like we're up to like 100 subscribers now. Can you believe that? 100 subscribers. 100 subscribers. And I think we're we're up to over 20 views. I was going to say 20 million, but nah, 20 views a week. So it's just the popularity is growing exponentially. It's incredible stuff. It's mm. incredible stuff. Absolutely. Well, it has been an incredible week here, Mr. Daglish. Lots of fun, lots of amazing scientific experiments going on, and I'm very sure that the newsletter is going to be filled with them. <laughs> yeah. Yep. This has been an amazing week, actually, when you consider what's been happening. Mm. It's been very good. Science Day was fantastic. Today we've had Road Safety Day, or Thursday we've had Road Safety Day. Mm. And today, Friday, um, it's, of course, Valentine's Day. So we've had plenty of activities and lots of things going on. That's what we like. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely. And I got to admit, I, I was enjoying the science experiments. I especially loved the little holograms that the kids made. It was just exceptional work. Did really well. The kids loved the bottle rockets. And on top of that, it's been an assessment week. Well, yeah, it has. Yeah, it has really their, their little brains by the end of this day are just going to be they're going to be ready for their weekend. Uh, they, they deserve it. I mean, we haven't, I must admit, we haven't quite gotten around to all the assessments, but science, science and English have done very well. So we can clean up next week with that math. No I'm confident we'll clean it up. Well, I can tell you, I've got a fair few of these stars of the week here, Mr. Daglish. Good. And I also know that the... Key Stage 2 challenge that I have up here has been tremendously popular. And I have to admit, the wolves have been kind of dominating this one. Lots of wolves have been taking part. So I have a feeling that might just affect how this, the uh, house points this week. I am waiting to find out eagerly, Mr. Daglish. Yes, yes. Um... Me too, actually, me too. I've got a positive feeling. Because I I know that the Tigers had a pretty commanding view, but after the amount of wolves that came in this week with their with their answers and how many kids got at least eight or nine house points for that, it, it could be an interesting week for sure. I think so, yeah. Those, that, there are a lot of points to, to, to make, actually. Well, if you get if you get five or six or seven children, you know, bringing in eight or nine house points apiece, you know, it makes a really significant difference on the totals. Interesting times. Interesting, it is. Well, we will get underway with our stars of the week. Uh, you know, Mr. Monet, he does like to challenge me with his French, but this one, I'm not even going to try because <laughs> I just, yeah. But he did write it for me in English. So for oh. great participation this week, great behavior. Very enthusiastic and has learned all of the vocabulary. And I would have to be taking his French class to read that very long, lengthy <laughs> French sentence there. So from Mr. Monet, I believe this goes to a year three student, Ariane. So well done, Ariane. Good job. Yeah. Well done, well done. I, I can have him teach me how to say these things in French. Well, from Miss Katia and Music, uh, is one of my little minions this week, um, has done his best in all music lessons. He's challenged himself and did an excellent performance for Mozart Sonata using both hands. And again, if you're not a piano player, that's, it's a bit of a trick to getting to learn how to use both hands and playing Mozart at the same time. So well done to this young man. And this goes to Yo in year six. So well done, Yo. Well done, well done. Your, your yogurt, well done. Mm -hmm. Well, from Miss Sonia in art. Uh, this person, it's nice to see. Nice to see this one in year four. And for trying very hard with a sewing a Valentine's Day craft. And they had to actually sew this one. It was, it was really tricky. He did a great handmade fabric heart looks great and extremely well done 
So, Miss Sonia, you're very happy. And this goes to Tassim. Tassim. In good. year four. So, well done, Tassim. Hello, Tassim. Good for it. Good. Well I, done, well done. Does Sonia have any crazy artwork on a certificate? You know what? She, it, it, it's very beautifully written, but no crazy artwork this time. Mm. But I think it's because if you haven't seen them yet, you wait until you see her Valentine's cards that she was creating with the kids were extraordinary. And yeah, I think they needed to, they took up a lot of time to make those things. So no extraordinary outwork this time, but very beautifully written card. So well done to seeing for that. Well, for the class teachers, we'll start with year six and four, settling into her class very well. And not only that, she was brave enough to take part in the assessment week. Even though she just walked into the school on Monday, yeah. she took the part in the assessment, even though she hadn't seen any of it, and actually did quite well. So really well done. This goes to Fatima. So Fatima, welcome to our school. Welcome and well, well done. Good. Well done, Fatima. Very, yeah, like Mr. Marsh says, very brave. So mm. that's just to go for it. Well done, you. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, in year five, for consistent and uber curiosity in all aspects of her learning at school, is rocking and rolling in everything. So keep it up. And this goes to Saskia. So well done, Saskia, from Miss Peoples. Good job. Well done. Well done. Well, Saskia actually popped my head into year five earlier in the week hmm. just to see Miss Peoples book. You know, I did say to Miss Pickles, I would like to come in and watch those guys work. Every time I go past, it sounds like great lessons are going on. And the children are very well behaved. I would love to go in there. But I did manage to pop in very briefly and look at Saskia's actually as it happens. Um, they did look excellent standards. In fact, they all did. So well done, Saskia. I'm not surprised by that at all. Mm, well done. Well, from Mr. Miss Elena in year four. And again, for settling in well very well into class. Doing great in math lessons is a wonderful addition to the classroom. And I really hope I pronounce this correct because people always give me the trickiest names. Kinza. Kinza, I think so, yeah. Kinza. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If not, you can come in, yell at Mr. Marsh and tell me the correct way to say your name. But really well done. Excellent and welcome and welcome, welcome to the school. Well, from Mr. Ating in year three for a more consistent presence at school and hard work across all areas. Let's hope this effort and presence continues. So well done. This goes to Ruhan. So well done, Ruhan. Good job. Good job. Well done. Well done. Don't see Ruhan outside playing football much. It's a shame how he's been told his dad says it's too cold. Can't believe it. He's missed out on all that good fun. Never mind. Hopefully he'll get out soon. Yeah. It's definitely warming up. It is. Okay, I guess it's my lot then, yeah? Right. Uh, we've had some excellent... We've had, a, we've had a good week, Mr. Marsh, I've got to say. Even had a little flotation experiment today, Mr. Marsh. And would you believe it? Um, do you think Mr. Eggs can float? Oh. Well, I know that a real egg can float, but Mr. Eggs... I don't know. He's got so much personality inside of him, but I have a feeling he would float. You're right, Mr. Marsh, because he had swimming lessons a couple yeah. of years ago. And um, so I did explain that to you too when we popped him in. Um, uh, Mr. Eggs does get a little bit scared sometimes because sometimes he might roll that way in his head be in the water. Mm. Like that. But he, because of his swimming lessons, he did all right and he managed to maneuver back up. Nevertheless, I took him outside and dried him off in an old mask. Yeah. <laughs> uh, He's quite, he's quite all right, actually. It's, it's the first time he's bathed in a while, so he's done us all a favour, really. <laughs> so, so we've had a good week because we've had science day and all the other stuff. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, this person had a great week on the whole, but especially for English assessments, okay? I've seen a big leap in progress. Mm. But I think um, I think just achieving something like that along the lines in assessments is, is a good chance for a child to get a start a week. I think it's a it, it's up there as a reason. Um, so a lot of progress. And, but this person's um, done a lot of, made a lot of progress um, over the long term as well, I've got to say. So this goes to Alvina 
Well done. Ah, Good job. Well done, Melvina. Good job. Uh, year one. Lovely handwriting from Mr. Tasha again. <laughs> um, for making great strides in reading and actively contributing to classroom discussions. Keep it up. Aria. Ah. Well done, for Aria. Okay. Well done. Well done. The Crow Jensen family will be happy. <laughs> you. Um, ah, EYFS, the little, the little guys. Um, she made a beautiful Valentine's Day card for mum and dad. Great job. And for that, and pop, I'm sure for other things, but for that, um, from Miss Mano, Star of the Week goes to Natalie. So uh -huh. well done, little Natalie. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. job. Good job. And uh, I've just realised I've put on my Star of the Week. Um, 11th of the 2nd, 2021. And I've no idea why I've wrote that. Although, <laughs> let me tell you something though, Miss Marsh. It's actually on the 11th of the 2nd, it's actually my mum's birthday. Mm. So that's also been in my head. So my mum will never say this. I don't think she's one of those 100 subscribers, which is a disgrace, actually. <laughs> uh, but if she ever watches this, happy birthday, mum. All the best. You old woman. So there you go. Nice I think it's been a good week, Mr. Marsh. Really enjoyed this week. But, but what hey, look, excitement going on with these stars though. These sorry, these house points. It's crazy scores coming back here. Crazy scores. I I I, 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 I absolutely believe you there. Well, just before we get to those and before we finish off and end on those house points, a couple of things that we did want to mention to you. Okay. Uh, next week, again. The last week of the term, I know that we're all busy and we're racing towards that final goal and relaxing. And I know that very sadly, we are going to be saying goodbye to a few people returning to their respective home countries next week. Yeah. And Ginu, I'm, I'm still going to kidnap you and keep you. So you're not allowed to leave, Mr. Ginu. But there are quite a few, actually, and we'll get to those probably next week during our assembly. But I know that next Friday... On the 18th, we are having a special day. I've seen the posters around the school, Mr. Daglish, and I'm sure you have too, about No Plastic Day that is going to be coming up next week. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is that the 17th, Mr. Marshall, the 18th? Did you say it was the Friday No Plastic Day? I, I, I am not 100% sure. I believe it's on the 17th or the 18th, one of those two. But again, check the posters around the school. Yeah. And I know that we are going to be looking at Again, our part in the environment. And I have been asked by Ms. Peoples to just have a quick reminder about what's going to be happening that day. And she has asked that everybody bring your own water bottles. You should have these at school anyway. I know that a lot of us do and a lot of us don't, but we should have one of these refillable plastic water bottles at our desks. Yours is very large, Mr. Daglish. Yeah. You are a thirsty or you know, a little exercise there in the morning. We should have one of these in school. Again, they're great for PE. You need them. So make a point to ask mom and dad to bring one of those. And on this day, the no plastic day, all of the plastic cups in the school are going to be removed. So you really do need to remember to bring in a reusable water jug that day, or you'll be just kind of lapping things up with your hands, I think, out of the water fountains. Yeah, you don't want to do what I used to do at that age and just put the tap directly in the mouth. <laughs> Go for that. Oh, I remember just sort of like sipping it out of the palm of my hand there a little bit. Well, can you remember the fountains, Mr. Marsh? Where you I do. I absolutely just, remember those. We just should put your mouth in the whole thing like that. Yeah. We used to share those. No wonder we've got strong immune systems. <laughs> Terrible. There's no doubt about that. And you know what? Uh, North America, I promise you, is still filled with those exact same water fountains that you yeah. remember. Sure. Yeah, sure. Um, we are also going to try and have non-plastic covered snacks in the afternoon. Also trying to use as little rubbish as possible on that day. So making sure that we're paying attention to uh, the amount of uh, rubbish and paper that we use. So teachers, we also need to be aware and think about, do we need to print that page? Do we need to print that worksheet this time? Or can we just you know, show it up on the board so yeah, yeah, or if you change the settings on when you go to print, mm -hmm. pictures, by the way, uh, because I printed out someone and changed the settings from print to width instead of print along or something like that. And I printed mm -hmm. off assessments that were no good and I had to bin them. 
So if you change in the sentence, put it back to the default that people expect. Because yeah. um, we can't afford to waste paper like that. No, we can't. And and that is definitely something that, you know, as teachers, we can be uh, much more aware of. Um, the student council also asking people to wear a cloth mask that day if they can, instead of bringing one of the disposable ones, because Lord knows how much, how many we go through of those a day. So kids, remember to bring the, your mask instead of just running into the office of the security guard to grab one every time you forget, which seems to be every break time. So yeah. just keep an eye on that. However, there is going to be a prize. Already. There is a prize. It doesn't say what the prize is, but I bet it's going to be spectacular. There is going to be a prize for the cleanest, tidiest room and has the most water bottles. Ah, okay. Well, the, the cleanest, tidiest room, we're, we're not even a contender for that. <laughs> well, my I think, would honestly, I think my class would be okay if I clean up my little tornado of paper that exists, yeah. exists behind me. I have to admit that one. Yeah, and no Mr. Daglish, for those of you, today is Chinese New Year, the 12th, Friday the 12th. So we would like to wish you a happy Chinese New Year. However, there is one other country that also, also celebrates officially Chinese New Year, which is our good friends from South Korea. And my Lord, we have many of those students. So I have done a little challenge for you, Mr. Daglish, even though you didn't know this was coming. Didn't. I am going to try and share my screen. I hope this works and I hope this records everything as possible. Okay. Uh -huh. But Mr. Daglish, I was wondering if you could possibly give this a go. Uh huh. Okay. Short. So, say hey. Sehe Bok Bok Mani Mani Badeseo Badeseo And in Chinese Gong Gong Shi Shi Fa Fa Sai Sai Well done Mr. Daglish Gong Shi Fa Shai mm. Something like that Sorry I'm completely wrong <laughs> Absolutely. So happy, happy a little bit of a challenge for you, but we wanted to wish everyone from North, South Korea and from China, the three countries that officially celebrate this Lunar New Year, which it actually is, is Lunar New Year. But we wanted to make sure that we gave you a special shout out for every one of you. So well done on that one, Mr. Daglish. Yeah, I, think well, you, I think we should give you an extra house point for that challenge. Yeah. We should, yeah. We should, we should. Well, Mr. Daglish, I am eagerly waiting to hear because I know that I have been marking many, many, many of these cards uh -huh. this week and uh -huh. almost all of them were wolves. And I have to admit, I've got three more that came in late and I've got more wolves. So this is becoming very interesting. Eagles, you so need to fill in this thing. Come on, guys. You know, the wolves need a few extra points to be added to this, Mr. Marsh. Mm. Well, let's see how we did. Okay, let's let's just see that. Well, okay, so I can tell you one thing: the Bears have never won a week's yet. I'm pretty sure of it. I can't remember who's ever winning a week. So if they do, marvelous. Let's see what happens. Uh, in fourth place with 58 points this week, it's a big score still. It's the Bears, 58. Okay, Bears. Well done, Bears. And well, you know what? I know that I've got Bears in. And just looking at what they've given me, I can tell you that there's going to be a bunch more house points for Bears next week, too. So, oh, cool. Cool. Um, yeah, so still a good score, Bears. And it's mm. very tight. It's very tight for sec uh, second, third, and fourth, anyway. So, in, in third position, with only six extra, 64 points, it is the Tigers. Oh. Now, that's it. They exciting. have gone from really first uh -huh. to only, how many did you say? A few points. Well, it was only six more than the Bears this week. Six but more than the Bears. Bear in mind, the last week, they, were, they made a difference of a, a quite a big amount. Mm. You know, so That is a very, very big difference, and it will be interesting to see how it affects the totals. Well, it's very interesting. I've got to say, it's very interesting, this. So anyway, um, in second position, with 80 points, it's a colossal score, really. 80 points, it's the Eagles. Oh. The well done, Eagles. So it means for the first week, 
the wolves have captured some prey. Well done, wolves. Wolves, I'm very proud of all of you guys. And this week we got a colossal, it's a huge difference, 126 points. Oh my goodness. You're like 46 points ahead of everybody on that week. That's that's an amazing thing. But I can tell you, it's that challenge out that door. Well, I think so. I think it's I think it's mm. definitely made a difference. And I think bears and eagles, eagles, come on. Come on, yeah, all you yeah. eagles, start filling in these forms. Well, it's made a difference, but mm. uh, you've got to be doing something right in the classroom as well, I guess. So it, I think it's a bit, a bit of both. So let's see how this has transformed the tools because it has. And the thing is about this year, things change all the time. Mm. So in fourth place, who with it, they have broken, everybody's broken the thousand barrier, by the way. Mm. In fourth place with a thousand and five points, it is the Bears. Ah. Bears. The Bears who were leading for most of the blooming year have now come. Well, let's see what happens because everything's chopping and changing. Mm. So, third place, this is very interesting. Very interesting. With 1,059 points, it is Eagles. Ah. Hey, good job, Eagles. Well done, well done. Well, third place. We're on the podium. That's the main thing. Because the Wolves haven't been winning, but they've been staying close, it's mm. meant this big colossal point change here has boosted them up two places from last to second place. Ooh. The grand total of a thousand and seventy nine. What a difference! Wolves are in second place with a thousand and seventy nine. Uh, well done, Wolves. Well done. Oh. I know that I, I'm very sure that Yo was behind me cheering and happy. Yeah, I'm glad to see that we've got some good guys in the world and, and, and we've never won a week. And now to win a week and to boost it to second, we'll, we'll, we'll sleep well, well the weekend. Right, so Tigers are still up top. However, their grand total score is 1,096. Okay. So there's really only 20 points between second, first, third. Not much in it. There's not much in it at all. Only the Bears need a little, the Bears need a boost. Mm. Yeah. The bears, oh, the bears. Teacher. Make sure you ask your teacher, Mister. Can we do our key stage two challenge? Every house point counts, and if we get all the bears out there, it's going to make a huge, huge difference. Yeah, they, they need a little bit of a boost, but you can see how big the scores are coming in. We're going to make a make it does. This week, I think I made the challenge a bit too easy. Although there is there is one one magic country up there that seems to have everybody stumped. Nobody's gotten 10 out of 10 yet, so we may have to give like an extra special reward if somebody gets all 10 correct. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a good, good, good point. And uh, yeah, I need to think of a house competition as well. Um, maybe for next half term, we'll see. Might get something in next week, but I don't want to make any promises. Let's see what happens, Mr. Marsh. Let's see what happens. Absolutely. Well, it has definitely been a fantastic week, incredibly busy, but full of a lot of great, wonderful things. The newsletter is going to be full of just beautiful photos. I'm very sure of amazing artwork and science work that's happened this week. Looking forward to seeing it. Some great photos um, from my end here, uh, Mr. Marsh. I hope you see the light of the day. I've sent them to uh, Mr. Sagaran, Mr. Mr. Reddy, and you'll see them in the newsletter. But some great photographs. Mm. Uh, I hope they go into social media. And this will be the same for all the classes. There'll be some, some excellent photographs out there, I'm sure. Yeah. And even though they may not be watching, we do need to give a special shout out to the kids of year seven that really worked hard this week to help Mr. Reddy to get this uh, science week up and running. Yeah. 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 Miss Larissa uh, just did a fantastic job. The students of year 11 and the students of year seven did a, just a great job. All of the students here are very grateful and very happy and just love the show, love the artwork or, and the science. It's a great show. It was. It was fantastic. I've yeah, thoroughly mm -hmm. enjoyed it. So did the children. So yes, we'll... I know that you were talking about the, the big volcano. And before, I never got to see the big volcano. I was a little disappointed. Uh, the volcano was my personal favourite because yeah. when, when it, it started like an orange powder, Mr. Marsh, and then sort mm. of started to turn like a dark ash. But as it went, the dark ash started going up like this further and further to the point where it was about this far from the ceiling. Huh. You know, I've, I've got some great photos of people just looking up. Um, yeah, the volcano was my personal um, experiment favourite. But I've got to say, the rockets, 
love the Rockets. The Rockets were amazing. And I do need to give a special shout out to Miss Dakota, even though their team didn't win. Mr. Reddy was there because when we were practicing and getting them ready, Miss the Bears in this classroom, their rocket went forever. And Mr. Reddy reckons it went the highest and the farthest. But when it came down to the actual competition, <laughs> we had some technical problems, as you do. Ah, uh, typical, typical. Typical, typical, but I know that they were really, really proud, and they should be. They did a fantastic job. Everybody's was launching beautifully. Great work. They were. I've got to say, Mr. Marshall, I watched the secondary launch today, and uh, let's just say it was there were some interesting rockets. I, mm. saw, I saw some rockets with three bottles attached. Okay, ah. so they, they looked great and monstrous, but they didn't get the height and they weren't consistent. In fact, the first half of the launch didn't work. None of, none of them worked, <laughs> and then they had a few that went off and got some great height, but only a few, and the rest just. Well, so, yeah. that's the thing. Problem solving is a lot of trial and error a lot of times. It is, yeah, it is. But nevertheless, they had a great time. But yeah, I've got to say, all of our rockets and prime were just flying. Yeah. We didn't have one duff launch. It was amazing. No, we did a it very was, good yeah. job. Primary, you should be very proud of you. Yeah, well done, guys. Well, well done. done. Well, Mr. Daglish, on behalf of myself, our fearless leader, Mr. Daglish, we wish you all a very lovely rest of your Valentine's Day. Have a wonderful weekend. And we will... See you. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Great week. Well done.